What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because I am finally back filming. Oh my goodness, I was really sick this past week and I am finally starting to feel like myself again. So I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally, but I definitely feel so much better now and I'm so excited to jump into today's video because when I was sick, all I did was just scroll on TikTok and buy all of these products that everyone raves about. I feel like TikTok makes so many products go viral and I definitely fell into the virality of many of these products and was just ordering, ordering, ordering. And so I have them all here today to test out because I'm like, let me be the guinea pig. Let me try these products and tell you guys if it's actually worth your hard earned money because not all these viral products are good. I'll let you know that right now. We're gonna really put these products to the test, see if they're worth the hype and if it's worth your money. We have makeup, we have some skincare, we even have a hair product that I'm so excited about. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And also be sure to follow me on TikTok if you don't already, it's at Kelly Strack Official. I test a ton of different products on there in a more short form way, like as in comparison to YouTube, but let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, so the first product that I wanna test out, I saw some spots sponsored ads for this, but I was really intrigued by it. It's a new product from Elia, and this is their C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. So it looks like this, you guys have probably seen it without the cap, because when I first got it, I was like, wait, is this the right product? And then I took the cap off and I was like, oh yeah, because it has like the tan kind of cap to it. Basically, this is a tinted sunscreen and it does also have other skincare benefits. It has vitamin C and niacinamide and allotonin. To be honest, I'm not sure what allotonin does, but vitamin C and niacinamide I love for my skin, so I was really excited about that. And basically the hype behind this is it's supposed to be a sunscreen that does not leave any white cast on your skin because it's tinted. So we're gonna test it out. I got shade two. It says in the back here, shake vigorously before use. So I'm gonna shake it vigorously. All right, and we're gonna go in with this. I don't think this is really supposed to give any coverage. I've seen some people testing it as more of like a foundation tinted moisturizer type product. My understanding, that's really not what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna just squeeze some out into my finger. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it best. Kind of just like press down this tube here and that is what it looks like. Okay, so definitely tinted. Probably just gonna squeeze it out on my face. I feel like that'll be easier. There we go. And I'm just gonna work it in with my fingers. Definitely has like a silky consistency to it. Wow, okay, I mean, that blends it in really, really nicely and seamlessly. Let's try it on this side. It's also nice too, because my face is always a lot lighter than my body, so this kind of helps with the tint to make it a little bit more like matchy-matchy without me having to go in with makeup, especially if I'm just gonna have like a pool day or something. Looks pretty good. And do another squirt up here. There we go. Okay, I actually really like this. Like I said, I'm testing this as a sunscreen, not as like a tinted serum, tinted moisturizer product, because it's not really gonna give you any coverage, just a slight bit of tint with your sunscreen. But I do really like this, especially for like beach days, pool days, whatever, where I don't wanna wear makeup, but I want like a little tint on my skin. I think this is perfect. And it also gives like a little bit of a glow to the skin, which is nice too. The only thing I can say is that this was, I think, $56 or might have been 54, but very expensive. So it's definitely a luxury product. I will definitely use it again, but could you take a regular sunscreen and mix like a couple bronzing drops in it and kind of get the same product? Probably, but I do actually really like the way this looks on my skin. So it's definitely a product I will use again. So I do see how it's worth the hype. It just is definitely pricey. Okay, I don't have any new like viral foundation, so I'm just gonna apply a foundation on right now, and we'll just see how foundation applies on top of the sunscreen, and then we're gonna get into a concealer that I am very excited to try. But so far, my foundation seems to be layering totally fine over the sunscreen, which is nice too. So you can use it kind of as like a primer base and then go in with like foundation over top if you want to. Okay, up next, we have got to talk about these Joa Eye Serum Concealers. So I have used these before, but then I was on TikTok and I saw Michaela, who I love. She is just so stinking talented and so funny, but she was reviewing these and she said that this was her favorite drugstore concealer ever. So I was like, wait a damn minute. I was like, I know I like those concealers, but favorite drugstore concealer ever? Especially coming from Michaela. Normally I like a lot of the products that she recommends. And so I was like, all right, I need to test these out again. So this has ceramides and peptides in it. I'm using shade FCO45. It has the little like sponge applicator. Reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. 
And so I'm gonna just go in underneath my eyes and then we're gonna blend it out. I'll do like one side so then we can see the difference. The thing that I like most about these is they're very brightening and they're also very moisturizing. If you have dry skin, like I do, this is a great option. They're not super full coverage though. So for me, I personally love like e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Like I like a little bit more of a full coverage concealer. That's not gonna be what these are, but if you're looking for something that's more like lighter weight, hydrating, brightening, great option. Like you guys can see obviously the brightness that it gave to my under eyes on this side. So I'll go and put it on this side as well now. And Joa is an affordable drugstore brand. You can find them in store at CVS where they do have their own website as well. Um, a lot of their products are really, really nice. And I feel like they're an underrated drugstore brand. So I was glad to see Michaela kind of shine in some light on them, you know, because I feel like every product she recommends like ends up turning viral. Um, but yeah, can totally see the hype around this. I am just gonna set my under eyes in place with some powder and then we're gonna go in with a dupe that I'm very excited to test out for one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. Okay, now for the dupe. So I love the Charlotte Tilbury contour one. It is beautiful, but it is a pricier product. But even beyond that, it's very difficult to find. It's like always sold out. And it makes me sad because I saw it on TikTok and I tried so hard to find the creator that I saw it from and I just could not find their video again, but they were basically saying that the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer is a dupe for this. So this is obviously not a concealer, it's a contour one, but if you bought this Makeup Revolution concealer like in one of the deeper shades, you could use it as a contour. And it's supposed to be a dupe. So I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury on one side and this on the other. I bought this at Target and it was like $9.99, where the Charlotte Tilbury is $40. So let's test them. Okay, so I like to apply this best with a brush. So I'm just gonna put some of the product on a brush and go in on this side with the Charlotte Tilbury product. Obviously it's super dark, but that is because this is the medium deep because I couldn't find the light medium because it was sold out everywhere, but it blends out so flawlessly, so don't worry. It just ends up like morphing so flawlessly into the skin. I feel like that's what makes Charlotte Tilbury products Charlotte Tilbury products because they just are beautiful. But let's see if this dupe actually works. So I'm gonna get the packaging off of this. I'm gonna apply it in the exact same way. I'm just gonna use a different brush so we don't like cross contaminate the product. Very similar as far as like look goes. You know, you have that sponge tip applicator. So let me just crank this out. I feel like this might take a while. I'm gonna apply this to a brush as well. Okay, also looks pretty dark, so we're kind of comparing apples to apples. Okay, yes, also definitely dark, but we'll see if it blends as nicely as the Charlotte Tilbury one does. I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge and blend it. I feel like that might help a little bit. The problem with this packaging is like you can't actually see the shade, so at the bottom just says warm chestnut. That's the shade that I got, but I probably would have purchased a lighter shade, but it is blending doesn't look as flawless as the Charlotte Tilbury though. Like I will say that, but I'm blending and it is kind of getting like patchy, like especially up here. And I think also that has something to do with the fact that this is a concealer. So it's supposed to be giving coverage where bronzers like the Charlotte Tilbury, they don't necessarily give coverage. They give warmth to the skin. So I don't know that I would really consider this a dupe to be completely honest. I really wanted it to be, but like now I have this weird stripe. I'm trying to blend that on out. Um, I feel like maybe had I gotten a lighter shade, I feel like it would have worked better. They are similar products, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like exactly a dupe. So maybe I'll go back and get it in a lighter shade and we'll test it again, but they're definitely different products. I would say they are similar. Okay. Up next for blushes. I have seen these went viral a while ago, actually, but I've never tried them. So I'm finally trying the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. I see like Meredith Duxbury uses these all the time and so many people. So I'm not sure who the original person was to make these go viral, but they look like this and they're super cute. So I think I'm gonna use, I feel like pink today. So I'm gonna go in and just press it on like that. And the nice thing about She Glam is their stuff is so affordable, but in my experience, all the products that I've tried from them have actually been really, really good. So I'm gonna just blend this out. Ooh, we have pigment. I probably did not need three dots of that because it is pigmented. Oh my goodness, okay. Hang on, let's blend, blend, blend. But that is so, so pretty. You probably, let me do the other side and let's see if like one dot is good enough. Yeah, okay. Literally one dot is like good enough. These are really, really pretty. She Glam is basically like Shein's makeup brand. Like they sell it on their website and they actually really do make quality makeup like from anything that I've tried from them. So that is really, really pretty. Understand the virality. Plus they're just like really cute. Like I like the packaging and stuff and like the little applicator is just like cute. So these ones, I see the hype for sure. This I have so much blush now. I'm like, 
<laughs> trying to blend it. But this is why I do these first impressions testing videos so you guys can learn from my mistakes. All right, I think we're looking a little bit, a little bit better. <laughs> This is obviously a first impression. It's not a necessarily a makeup tutorial, you know? Okay, up next for a highlight, I'm so excited because I love the Charlotte Tilbury, the contour wand, also the blushes that she has that are like the wands like this, but I have never actually tried a highlight. And this is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. So it was Michaela personally that sold me on this again as well. I love her recommendations. This is a product that has gone viral for many different people. So I'm excited to try this out. I have never tried it, so gonna open this up and I'm going to pop some on here on the top of my cheekbone. So when Michaela did it, she applied it like this and then she just blended it out with her finger. So I am going to do the same. Ooh, oh my goodness gracious, this is pretty. Here's Charlotte Tilbury is just over here, killing everything. I feel like all of her products also go viral on TikTok, just like any Charlotte Tilbury product. This is really pretty and I completely agree because in Michaela's video where she kind of showcased this, she said that like it gives a glow, but it's not glitter. Like it just is like a beautiful glow. And I totally understand what she means by that because if you see, like it just gives this beautiful glow to the side of my face, but it's not glitter. Like it doesn't look like chunky kind of glitter. I'm gonna use a bit less on this side and blend it out and see. But this is really, really pretty. Just anything that's like in these, like the beauty light wand formula from Charlotte is just like beautiful, glowing, stunning. And this is no exception. And this shade is just really beautiful. Again, it's Pillow Talk, which is one of my favorite lipstick shades from her so very very pretty we are just looking so glowy oh my goodness but i love it living for glowy skin okay now this is the last one that i have from michaela um but we still have like a lot of other products to test but this is the flower beauty jet set invisible powder spray so it's a spray on powder so i thought that i have tried this but i don't remember my thoughts on it like at all so i'm like did i try it maybe i didn't i don't know but it's from flower beauty so it's basically supposed to be a powder but you spray it on like a setting spray so it says shake me up i'm gonna shake it we're shaking all the products today and we're just gonna spray it on our face and see because we are glowy 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 so we'll see if this mattifies all right here we go okay that felt like nothing like i feel like nothing's hitting my face so let me Okay, I can see stuff floating in the air. So it's something is coming out of there, but it feels like nothing. Like it does not feel like anything. It just feels like winds blowing on my face, not like any product is, which is interesting. It's definitely not like wet, like a setting spray. It smells like baby powder, which I personally actually like that scent. I feel like it did actually bring down some of the glow that we had and kind of like, oh wow. Yeah, like my face feels set but I still do have a little bit of luminosity, which is cool. What? Yeah, oh, okay, it actually really does work. Okay, this is very cool, because it set the products down, but I still do have that glow coming through, so it's not like super mattifying, but I can definitely feel like to the touch that my face is set, it's not sticky. Miss Drew Barrymore over here with Flower Beauty, okay, like very, very cool. Okay, I like this product, and I am definitely gonna continue to use this, because that is really, really cool. Smells good, feels like nothing, did not like make my makeup look weird or anything. I like that. Okay, up next for our eyes, we are going to go in with Item Beauty Lash Snack. So Miss Addison Ray, this is her makeup brand. She's probably like the most viral person I feel like to ever like explode on TikTok. And so she has this makeup brand, which I have only ever tried one product from, which is the lip oil, which I did like. But she always is using, oh, here I am throwing it. But she is always using this mascara. She has really long, beautiful lashes. So she says this is her secret to it. So let's try it out and see if we can get those Addison Ray lashes. It has a tiny, tiny little wand, which honestly a lot of the time is good when you really want like lift to your lashes, which is what I believe this is supposed to do. It's really supposed to like lengthen and lift, not so much volume, which is kind of what I've been living for recently. So I'm just gonna bring this through, honestly. This is actually looking really good. Okay, Addison. I didn't, you know, I was kind of like, is this a gimmick? You know, not a gimmick, but like a cash grab type of thing. But I feel like this is actually really nice. Let me know if you guys have tried any products from Item Beauty. And if you, you know, liked them, didn't like them, whatever, like what your experience was. But this is looking pretty dang good on my lashes. That was with two coats. I feel like my lashes, they look long, they look lifted. 
They look really nice. They're not as, as pretty as Addison's, but I feel like they look pretty dang good. All right, let's do this side now. All right, Miss Addison Ray knows what she's talking about when it comes to mascara. I feel like this is actually really, really nice and I will definitely use this again. Okay, up next we have the Viral Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumber. So I love the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. They look like this, but they have like pink packaging and they're basically like a lipstick, lip gloss, lip serum hybrid. They're super pigmented, but they look like a lip gloss and they have like moisturizing benefits like a lip serum would have or like lip treatment. But Meredith Duxbury made this new plump one go viral because this one not only does all those other things, but then it also plumps your lips. That's kind of what the ones in the rose gold packaging do. So I used this the other day. I tested it out on my TikTok and was obsessed it's so pretty so i already knew i liked the original formula but love the plumping action that this one gives so i have the shade cherry blossom the one that meredith was using i think was white peach which is also really pretty a little bit more peachy this one's a little bit more pinky um but when you see how beautiful this looks very full coverage lip gloss but you have to you have to be careful with these though to not press them too hard because they like if you go in thinking it's a lipstick, you can't press it as hard as lipstick because it definitely is really glossy. So then you'll just get like a big glob of product, but it looks so pretty and natural on the lips. Gives you that slight wash of color, gives you that pretty glossiness. And then like in a minute or so, you'll start to feel the lip plumping action, but it's not like one of those lip plumpers that hurts. It's more of like a cooling feeling and just adds a little bit extra plumpness to your lips. So I'm so excited that these are actually going growl because I have loved the original ones for so long and they definitely deserve it. And they're just so pretty for summer. I just love a glossy lip. So. You guys know, as always, I do have an affiliate code with Tarte. It's code Kelly, so you can use it on this product or their entire website, anything, and it'll get you 15% off. So love this. I feel the plumping like coming on now. Again, it's more of like a cooling feeling than like a stinging feeling like other lip pumpers. Okay, up next we have like a body skincare product. So I saw this on Laura Lee's TikTok. So she's the one personally that made me buy this and I literally went and added it to cart immediately on Amazon, but she was duetting a another creator. So I'm gonna put the original kind of like creator up here, but this is a body lotion, but it's a spray. So this is from Aquaphor and it's the Advanced Therapy Ointment body spray. It doesn't really sound sexy, but you're supposed to shake this up and then spray it on. It's supposed to give the most beautiful glow and like hydrate your skin without having to like work in lotion forever because I'm lazy when it comes to that. I don't really like to do that, but my skin is dry and it needs it. So I really hope that this works. Um, I paid about $9 and some change on Amazon. It literally came the next day. So that's kind of why I wore this off the shoulder little number today so we could see how it works. So I'm gonna just spray it on. I have not tried this yet. I'm a little nervous. Okay, feels really cold um, when you spray it on, but like cooling. Oh, interesting. It feels really weird. Okay, I feel all these like particles are in the air here. It feels like I just like touched it and it feels weird. I'm gonna like work it in. Oh, I think I used too much. Hang on. All right, let's work it in. It feels very like um, thick and hydrating, which is interesting because it's a spray and my self tan is so patchy right now. So I feel like <laughs> it's not great to show this, but that was really easy, easier than, and I feel like you wouldn't actually have to work it in like I'm doing if I didn't use as much as I did. I feel like you could just do a light spray and like hydrate, but I do feel like that hydrated my skin really easily and quickly. I feel like it does feel a little sticky though, cause it's like thick. So for me, I feel like I would more so use this on my legs. I feel like that's a lot easier. On like my chest and stuff, I like to use something that's super lightweight, that's not sticky at all, just cause my hair is gonna be there and stuff. And I don't want it to get all in my hair, where like with this, I feel like I need to let it like set down before I even bring my hair forward, or it's gonna get all, caught in it, but it did give a pretty glow. My skin is really dry, so for it to have really any glow, you definitely do not need to use as much, because I thought at first like nothing was coming out, and then I went in and then way too much, so <laughs> I feel like that's the theme of this video, is that don't use a lot of products, because I feel like I've used too much of everything. Oh yeah, like I feel like some of it got in my hair back there. Ugh, okay. So I feel like this is a product that I would use but I would use it on my legs, not on my chest. And I'll just use like a really lightweight kind of moisturizer on my chest area just because of my hair and stuff. Okay, speaking of hair, we have the last product. I'm trying to just make sure that I'm brushing out this ointment that I like sprayed in my hair so we can give this a full shot. I am so excited about this product. I have never 
ordered something faster than this, seriously. So I saw this on Casey Holmes's TikTok and she was duetting a hairstylist who was using this. So I'll put it on the screen here, but this is called the Volume. I literally instantly went to Amazon and added this sucker to the cart. So it looks honestly like a waffle maker or something like on the inside. And you basically use this like on your hair underneath and it gives you lift and volume, which I used to tease the crap out of my hair. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you probably already know that. Um, but I love a good voluminous hairstyle, like a hair with body. So I am really hoping that this works because it looked beautiful on Casey. And the hairstylist that was using it just had like the most incredible hair. So fingers are crossed. I'm undoing this right now. I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see. This did cost, I think it was like $149. So it's not cheap, but if it really does give a volume and body, well worth it in my opinion. So let me plug it in and test it out. All right, I just plugged it in. I'm gonna turn it on, set on 300. I'll put it up a little bit. Okay, the highest it goes is 395. I'll put it at 350. And let's let it heat up. It's showing me like how it's heating up, which I actually really like, like saying like 80, and then it'll go up. So I parted my hair in the middle because I figured we could do one side so we can kind of like see the difference. So let me just brush this hair. Cause my hair doesn't have naturally like a ton of body to it. It's pretty flat because my hair is just fine and straight naturally. So volume is something that I need, you know, like additional products for basically. But a lot of times when I use like volumizing hair products, like in my roots, I find that my roots get a lot oilier faster. So I don't love that. I feel like my one light is like flickering. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyways, anywho. So you don't wanna do it on the very top because it's kind of gonna give like a crimped look to your hair. So I'm gonna take the top layer of my hair and kind of put it on the other side because we wanna do the underneath to get that volume. But then you wanna like hide it basically with your hair, if that makes sense. It'll make sense probably <laughs> once I do it. All right, she's heated up. That heated up really, really fast. So I'm gonna grab my hair. Hello to my extension. I'm not gonna do the extension, although I feel like I probably could. So let's just try with my natural hair first. Clamp it down. Like so, all right. I'm not really sure how long I should hold it. I'll do like 10 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna clamp it down a little bit further as well. It kind of looks like my hair is like crimped. Okay, but it did like push it up though. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I feel like this actually is gonna work. Now let's do it in the front too, so we can have it equally volume. And I wanted to try this with straight hair because all the tutorials I saw had curly hair and I didn't know if it would work with straight hair and I wear my hair straight a lot of the time. So I don't know if it only looks good with curly hair or if it can work with straight. So I figured that I would test it that way. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Definitely looks a little crazy. Like you're not gonna wanna leave your hair looking like this. I feel like if you did that all the way down though, it would look really pretty, but it just looks crazy because my hair is straight and then it's like that but definitely did give us lift like at the top here. And I feel like maybe I should have brought it a little bit closer to my root, but I mean, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take down now the other part of my hair, cover it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, it totally worked. And I mean, obviously you'd wanna make sure that you have like enough hair on the top to like cover it so that it still looks smooth and seamless, but I feel like it does work with straight hair too. And like that looks so good, like compared to this side of my hair. And I feel like it'll be even better like when hair is curled too, like they were showing in the tutorial because then you really can get that body and it'll be less trying to like cover up like the crimped kind of part underneath. But honestly, I mean, I didn't really pull that much hair to cover it up and it still looks smooth and seamless. <gasps> wow, this is my new favorite product. Oh my goodness. If you like like to have a little extra volume to your hair, you will love this. If you're blessed with really thick hair, you probably don't need it, but I love when my hair has a little bit more volume to it. And I feel like this really did do the trick. You could probably honestly use a crimper if you have one and get a very similar look. Cause that's kind of what it's doing to your hair. Like it's crimping it. That's basically what it's doing. Um, but that is so cool. This is a really, really cool gadget. I like this a lot. Like even with my hair behind the ear too, like it just gives that little extra volume and lift. Oh, okay, I'm so excited. Definitely using this now like all the time. Okay, very, very cool. I will link it down below. Like I said, I got mine off Amazon. Again, it came in like a day. 
Um, so definitely will link it. I got the blue one, but they had a couple other colors too. Um, so yeah, that is everything. I feel like these products really were good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can definitely do this again if you guys did. Let me know any viral products that you've seen on TikTok that you would like me to test out and I can totally do that. And make sure to follow me on TikTok as well, at Kelly Shock Official if you wanna see more videos like this. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.